Hey guys, it's Balo, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this vampy goth dramatic look. And it's a type of look that I grew up loving since I was little, since I was like seven years old watching MTV, watching Marilyn Manson videos in the 90s. And even growing up when I was like 14 years old, I definitely went through my little goth phase. And although I didn't wear makeup at the time, I had a lot of friends who were going through their emo scene goth phases, and they would literally slather their eyes in black highlighter, and I lived for that. I've always loved like a grungy, lived in kind of look and although this definitely isn't a lived in look it's more of a glamorous type of a moment but it definitely reminds me of all the smoked out blacked out eyes that used to inspire me so much growing up and I also love the attitude that comes with this type of a look like you know like you're boring me to death and I'm already dead whatever mom so if you would like to see how I came up with this look definitely stay tuned and keep watching Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start off by priming my face using my trusty dusty MAC MAC cream. So for foundation, since I'm going to be making my skin way lighter than it naturally is, I'm going to be using the Krylon TV Paint Stick in the shade 1W. This is a very, very light stick foundation with a very, very full coverage if you're not familiar. This is an iconic foundation used by drag queens. This is super, super, super full, full coverage. And I've been using this one for years. And you just paint it on straight from the tube. And you can blend this foundation either with a beauty sponge or a brush. Um, I don't particularly like using beauty sponges, like a beauty blender for this foundation. I like using brushes, like a densely packed foundation brush that I'm gonna show you in a second. Since we're going lighter, obviously you gotta get the neck. And since this foundation is very, very thick and very full on, um, I actually don't like using a beauty blender to blend this. I prefer using a brush. And this is a very densely packed foundation brush from Sephora. This is the Mineral Powder number 45. I just use it for foundation. And I'm going to blend this out using circular buffing motions. And now I'm just going in with a little more foundation just in the areas where I feel like the brush took away some of the coverage. And this time around I'm using stippling motions in order to not disturb the coverage too, too much. Casper, the friendly ghost. So now that I'm giving you full Casper fantasy, I'm going to contour a little bit with another shade of TV Paint Stick by Kryolan, just to not look so, so flat. And this is in the shade 9W. And I'm going to be somewhat light with this because I don't want to disturb the paleness of my foundation too, too much. So I'm just going to go under my cheekbones and on my nose. But I'm going to use a brush for that. And I'm going to blend this out using the same foundation brush that I used before. Just like that. Just to have some definition. Do you see that? And with the same product and a MAC 287 brush, I'm going to contour my nose. So now with a straight up white shade of TV Paint Stick, I'm going to be accentuating my highlights. This is the shade 070. Always using the same brush from form. And now I'm going to be using a very thin and flat painting brush to highlight my nose. Okay, so now it's time to set my face. As you can see, this foundation is super, super greasy. I mean, it is a grease paint stick after all. And today I'm gonna use two of my absolute favorite powders. This is my Ben Nye Cameo powder that I use to bake under my eyes. And this is my MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NW10 that I'm going to use to set all over my face. And I'm going to buff on my Studio Fix using this Flat Top Powder Foundation Brush by Dior. Okay, so now that my foundation is all set and dry to the touch, I want to reestablish the contours of my face using a very cool toned shade. And this is the shade Taupe by MAC. It's very, very cool toned, perfect for this kind of look where you want to look almost sickly, like very, very pale, like you don't go out in the sun too much. And to contour, I'm using a MAC 165 brush. 
And obviously we don't want to go too, too overboard on the contour because we don't want to actually darken our skin tone. We are trying to stay as pale as possible. And now I'm going to re-highlight my nose using my lighter shade of Studio Fix and a very, very tiny lip brush. Just making sure that the center of the nose is very light. And actually I want to make my highlights a little wider, like I want to make them pop a little bit more. And for that I'm going to be using the MAC pigment in the shade Pure White. And this is really going to take us there with the paleness. So before I move on to the eyes, I want to spray a little something something on my face just to have a little bit of moisture and to make this look a little less cakey. And I'm going to be using my Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray. The spray on this setting spray is so faint. Like literally I have to do like 300,000 sprays and like two inches away from my face because like this is just so weak as a spray. But it is a good setting spray nonetheless. Okay, so now let's move on to the eyes. And I'm very indecisive as to what kind of look to go for. I just now want to be very, obviously very gothy, very dark, very full of black eyeshadow. I think I'm going to do one eye off camera and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so we are back. I went ahead and did my eyebrows and my right eye off camera just to get an idea on what to do. And I'm pretty satisfied with what I have going on. I like how elongating of the eye this is. I like the color scheme. Obviously, it's very classic with the white and the black. A whole lot of smokiness going on under the eyes and a little pop of red in the inner corner. And I honestly cannot wait to see what this is going to look like with lashes on. So let's get started replicating this on this other eye. And for my primer today, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer. This is my second time using it, and I really like it. The eyeshadows blend super well on top of it, whether you use it wet or you set it with a powder. So today I created the majority of this look using just this one eyeshadow pan by Inglot. This is their eyeshadow rainbow in the shade 120. This is one of their trio eyeshadows and this one is probably my favorite one that I have out of all these ones. You have your black, a dark gray, and a lighter gray, and you can use this for so many things. I use this for smoky eyes a lot. Right now I'm going to use a mixture of both grays in my crease as my transition. Oh, by the way, I'm using a MAC 217 brush. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone using my favorite, favorite white eyeshadow. This is Taco by Sugar Pill. Okay, I am blending my crease some more, and as you can see, I am flicking my brush outwards in order to elongate the eye and give this effect in the end. Okay, so now that I'm content with the intensity of my crease, it's time to cut my eyelid. And to do that, I'm going to be making a little bit of a concoction with my MAC Pure White Pigment and Inglux Duraline Mixing Medium. This is an amazing product. It's like a clear waterproof eyeliner that you can mix in with any pigment or eyeshadow of your liking and make any color of eyeliner that you want. So on my little MAC palette, I'm going to drop a little bit of white pigment and a couple drops of Duraline. We're going to mix it in and I'm going to apply it to my eyes with a MAC 252 brush. And now I'm going to set this with the Sugar Pill Taco. Not that this needs setting, but I just want to make the white pop even more. Okay, so now it's time for my black eyeliner, and I'm going to be using the Inglot Gel Eyeliner in the shade 77. This, alongside with MAC Black Track Fluid Line, is probably like the most iconic black gel eyeliner on the market. It's so good. This is a very, very heavy-duty eyeliner. Once it's on, it's not coming off unless you want it to come off. And if you want this to come off, you need an oil-based makeup remover because this sticks to your skin and does not budge. Okay, now that I have my flick and I'm pretty satisfied with it, I'm going to line my waterline using the same 77 liner. I know I'm gonna regret this later because this is not gonna come out of my waterline. 
and I'm going to smudge this underneath the eye. And using a synthetic pencil brush, I'm going to smudge this eyeliner. So for my red inner corner today, I use this Stargazer eyeshadow in the shade Golden Flame. It's a very, very vibrant, true red. And I'm just gonna blend it here in the inner third of my lower lash line. I'm making it even with the other one because this is way more pigmented and I like how vibrant this is. And now I'm going to smoke the hell out of my lower lash line using this Angla eyeshadow that I used before. Just using all three colors going back and forth. And we want to blend this back way, way down. We want to look like we haven't had any sleep in 37 years. Okay, so now it's time for the little flick in the inner corner. I'm using a very, very tiny little painting brush that I got at the craft store. I really like this look. I've always loved the combination of black, white, and red together. I feel like it just looks so striking. Okay, now the eyes are done. I'm super satisfied with this, actually. So now it's finally time for lashes. I'm gonna do my mascara and my lashes off camera, and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so now the eyes are officially done. I feel so, like, sexy and dead, you know what I mean? I can't wait to see this look paired with a very, very dark, almost black, red lip. But before we do that, I'm gonna do my highlight. So for my highlight today, I'm going to be making another little concoction using my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Frost in the shade Frozen Peach. If you haven't watched my last video where I reviewed this product, definitely go check it out. And since I've kept this look very matte so far, I definitely want to go a little crazy on the highlight. So what I thought of was to take a square of my Liquid Frost. And my idea was, since the Liquid Frost is basically glitter suspended in a liquid, I want to add even more glitter to it and see what happens, you know what I mean? Like what can go wrong? Glitter on top of glitter but like the glitter that I'm using today is max reflex teal which if you add it to a liquid it loses its glittery like consistency it's not grainy anymore it basically gets melted into whatever liquid or gel or cream you put it in so I definitely want to add this to the liquid frost I'm going to be using my little spatula taking some of the glitter and adding it to the liquid frost oh my god what have I done Oh my god, I just made the prettiest thing in the universe. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's It brings out the blue even more, but it's definitely like kind of splotching off my foundation a little bit, so I'm going to blend it in a little while. And I'm going to blend the edges out using my Beauty Blender. Okay, this looks cute and all, and it looks super glittery, and I am obsessed with how this looks, but you know, fuck it. Let's put even more glitter on. I kind of want to put straight glitter on top of this, you know what I mean? Just to see how it looks. Okay, there we go now. Oh my god, I am obsessed. Very cool. Yes! Okay, so now that we are glowing, honey, it's time for lips. And today I want to go with a very, very dark red lip. And for that, I'm going to be using my MAC Lip Liner in the shade Vino. This is a dark burgundy red. And on top of it, I'm going to be putting a NYX Liquid Suede in the shade 20. And it's called Oh Put It On. Okay, I'm going to put it on. Okay, so now that we have our lips done, the look is officially completed. I'm going to be doing my hair off camera real quick and I'm gonna be right back. Et voila, the look is officially complete. The only thing we're missing is a little setting spray. This is the Glam Glow Glow Setter. <coughs> so yeah, now that I've set my face and my tongue, the look is officially complete. 
So that's about it for this video, you guys. I'm honestly obsessed with this look. It's not the first time that I've done something like this. I love dabbling in this type of look from time to time. I've always kind of had this gothy edge about me and I love experimenting with dark colors, dark lips, the combination of like, you know, heavy eyes and heavy lips, because that's something that I don't do that often. Like if you know me or you've seen the last videos that I posted, I usually do a very, very smoky, sultry, dramatic, like cut crease glitter on the eyes, but I usually keep the lips very light either like a nude or a pink something like those colors because I honestly just prefer giving the emphasis to the eyes but this is honestly not something that I hate at all like I love a dark vampy lip it's just not the look that I choose to go for every single time I do my makeup you know what I mean but yeah this look definitely reminds me of a lot of goth divas that I grew up worshiping on the internet since I was like 13 years old and right now I feel like I could be one of them so yeah, that about concludes it for this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me and my channel grow. Also, if you would like to see more videos from yours truly, definitely subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!